as you all know, about a year ago, Whitney had little baby Jed. Isn't he so cute? He's so precious. Look at that smile. I love him. <laughs> well, the good news is, baby Jed is about to start walking. The bad news is, baby Jed's about to start walking. However, I have a solution to keep this little kid off my stairs, which is his number one go-to at the moment. And today, we're gonna share it with you. We are building a DIY farmhouse baby gate. Here's what you need to build this DIY farmhouse baby gate and don't cry about it. You need a nailer, a drill, a few craft boards, three one by six by eight boards, wood glue, and don't forget the hardware. All right, let's get busy and Judd proof your stairs. Good plan. So the first thing we're gonna do is we have made these cuts for our one by six board. And here is a shanty tip. Everyone has different stair widths or different door widths. Whatever the width that you're needing, that's where I'm getting this cut. So my space is 41 and a half inches long. I made these boards 41 inches long. Which makes this project super easy to customize to your size. Yes, exactly. And that's exactly how I'm drawing the plans up too. So I want all of you to be able to build it to keep your stairs safe. So what we've done is we've added three quarter inch pocket holes to one end of each of these boards, except for one. And then we've also gone dead center and made one pocket hole in the center of each of these boards as well. All right, so we have lined these first two boards up flush and we're gonna put a one and a quarter inch pocket hole screw into our first three pocket holes. I'm actually so excited we're building this project today because he literally is climbing onto the first step. But it's funny because he gets there and then he has no idea what to do. He starts <laughs> crying because he's like, I don't know how to get down. So Aww. we're, we're going to solve that problem real quick. He's going to be so upset too. I know. <laughs> What'd you not, do? He's not going to be real happy about this. Okay, so also this makes a great pet gate. So for those of you that have puppies you're trying to keep off your stairs or outside of rooms, this is another great little project. Okay, so now we have the basic square that's gonna serve as our gate, and we are going to be covering all these pocket holes with trim. So we'll start over here on this side. We're running two of these craft boards up each side, and we're attaching them using wood glue and shorter nails. All right, we've got our side pieces done now. We're gonna move on to the bottom horizontal and the top piece. Now these are gonna attach the same way, so you wanna flush with the top and bottom of your gate, and we're attaching everything, again, with glue and nails. So we have our side pieces, our top and bottom pieces, and now we're gonna add a small piece of trim down center. I am gonna go ahead and measure for this. So we've marked center right here, and we're attaching this piece with the one inch nails and glue, and this is a great way to hide those middle pocket holes. All right, so here we are at this point, and now all we have to do is add some cute diagonal trim. So we're gonna hold these boards up in place. It's just one and a half inch board, and we're gonna mark it to make these cuts over on our miter saw. All right, diagonal trim is in. We put glue under it, and now all we have to do is drive a few nails in. Okay, so at this point, whatever you plan to do with your gate, stain it, paint it, you might want to put like a triple coat poly on it if your kid's anything like mine. That's when this is going to take place before adding the hardware. The hardware, I think, is what makes this look so cute. Definitely. 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 All right, so we've got these gate hinges to use as hardware, and mm -hmm. we've also got this really cute modern pool. I'll be linking to that in the description box. So we also just bought a simple outdoor gate lock from the hardware store. I can also link to that. I just wanted something that my older kids could easily open and shut, but that Jed couldn't reach, so hopefully this does the trick. <laughs> but it's gonna be so cute on the stairs. I plan to give mine a coat of paint. I'm thinking white, maybe slightly distressed. It'd be a fun change against my dark stairs. I love it. This totally beats those ones that you spend like 50 bucks for. At yes. The, the plastic are, ones. Yeah, so they're difficult to get in and out of. I can't tell you how many cuss words I've dropped on ones. I mean, I've got six kids, so this will by far be my favorite. And it has character. That's right. Lots of it. Nice work. Well, thanks. Judd hates it. 